Welcome to the Hacker Combat Official YouTube channel. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest cyber updates. When did UPnP and SSDP become mainstream? Universal Plug and Play, or UPnP, was considered revolutionary when it was introduced to Windows Millennium Edition in 2000. It is the pre-IoT era where industries and people were starting to reimagine what it's like for ordinary household appliance to be connected online. This is when Microsoft thought the idea of creating SSDP discovery service and retrofit it to the aging DOS based code of Windows Millennium Edition. The result was a nightmare, as Windows became more vulnerable to cyber attacks. As SSDP or Simple Service Discovery Protocol and the UPnP system built to Windows is just another attack surface against the Microsoft operating system. What are the other uses of SSDP service? SSDP is also used for inexpensive network compliant devices introduced in general households. General users who are not familiar with the technology can leave them in appropriately set or leave us enabled. Especially for devices for gaming such as PlayStation, they detect if the network is UPnP supported and automatically configures itself without manual human intervention. Why is SSDP service vulnerable? One such attack against UPnP is SSDP DDoS attack Using reflection method is an exploit that puts a load by sending an inquiry that disguises an attack target as a transmission source to the device and sending the response back to the attack target. As SSDP returns a response that is about 30 times as large as the inquiry, it is more efficient to send a large amount of data to the target by misusing corresponding devices rather than directly transmitting data to attack targets. What can be done to prevent being compromised? Disable the SSDP service from Windows and from the network if the LAN has a connected PlayStation or Xbox deal with a manual configuration. Configuring port forwarding is not easy, but it is also not rocket science. Anyone with a desire to learn how to configure network devices without UPnP can do it as the internet contains many guides on how to configure port forwarding. Thank you for watching. To read more, just visit our website at hackercombat.com.